All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Domestic, Domestic Girlfriend, Girlfriend, episode eight. eight. All right, all right, everyone. Yes, I have a large sunburn all over my face, and I cannot emote much right mm-hmm. now without. Yeah. Uh, Don't worry. This this show will 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 certainly try and fix that. Um, yes, I'm but sure it will. We had quite the episode last episode. Last episode was crazy. Many touching moments were had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Um, okay. So mm-hmm. so the thing about last episode is I think it was actually one of the most complicated. And layered episodes, despite it having the ridiculous scene near the end of it, mm-hmm. which I actually like that it wasn't anything weird. But it, I mean, maybe no, no, uh-huh. let me let me rephrase like, what I'm saying. Yeah. It made sense that she would be thinking about her ex. In exactly. That sense that yep. There, yep. there wasn't my silly, stupid prediction of <laughs> that she was thinking about him. And no, but but it still just crushes his soul. I mean, because of course it would. You know, yeah, he's seventeen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But but now we've got kind of a wholesome transition into this whole thing with the literature club which is giving me sure. trauma flashbacks you know literature clubs in general but um maybe <laughs> maybe we can get a collaborative connection thing going on between at least some of the girls sure. and natsuo yeah although there is certainly a collaborative connection that's happening between one particular girl and natsuo yeah really that is yeah um, yeah yeah uh, mm-hmm. ho- hopefully we can uh I don't know. I don't know. Smooth things over mm-hmm. with the whole Hina situation by bringing in, I would say, a little bit more connection and dialogue between characters like Natsuo and Rui. Oh, and then mm-hmm. having um, right because dialogue girl... with the connection. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, y'all, domestic girlfriend. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, everyone. We're going to be starting the episode in five. Four, three, two, one, now. Mm. Mm. He's unable to write. When I His hear head that is track. elsewhere. <laughs> oh. Lamont. Yes. Hmm. Ruja. Sarada. Utsuka. Shiku. No destiny as a uh, what, you're talking about the fact that her blouse was wet? Yeah, like... Ah, this opening is really just too good for this show. (laughs) mm. And yet it's perfect. Right, so like anime awards for like, you know, 2019, (laughs) you get like this. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> My life sucks! American transfer student? <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> From the police? No. Oh. Mm. Postar. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> wow, this guy is really just blunt and yes, like I can't tell if that's what like that's what like American people just seem like, you know? Oh my gosh, <laughs> what, what? And he just like got it like trailing out of his back. Uh -huh, yeah. What yeah, is yeah. going on here? <laughs> Say your prayers. Mission complete. What the heck? <laughs> What is this guy? Really? He's like, I'm in love. <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yep of course <clears throat> we get the rude blunt american <laughs> transfer student with his oh my gosh Ah, gotcha. <laughs> that look, oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You done goofed. You done. 
was at this moment, Natsuo knew. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah. The way to a woman's heart, I guess, is with noodles. Yep. I... <laughs> it's like, I just know, I just know how this works. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> And we're off to the races, folks! We are not stopping here! Nope. Wow! Wow! This is like too, too perfect! Too perfect! Oh, boy. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Rui's best girl. <laughs> Rui's the best girl. No chromo. Oh my god, she just straight up said it though. Like, yeah, uh huh. I yep. mean, it's not like we're related by blood or anything, Baka. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no way! Who is this Joseph Joestar wannabe? Just... Plenty of chances. <laughs> Okay, watch him, watch him give like some random wisdom here. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes, you must be direct. <clears throat> See, actual wisdom. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> he actually let it slip though you should go talk to Rui too meaning like I'm the one that also needs to talk to Rui but but oh my gosh
What a good dad. He's, yeah. he's like, we're yeah. going to go have some time together. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this is when you have the confrontation. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> this is gallant figure? <laughs> Wait, wait, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh! <laughs> yes, his magnificent figure. Mm-hmm. Show it off to a five-year-old. What? What's... <laughs> That is, that is, that is, that is the most, like, horrible thing that, uh. Oh, no, and Rui's gonna see this. Well, and it's it's Hina's right hand too. Wait, Jacob, freaking! I mean, you, you, you didn't heed her wishes, buddy. Yeah. Like, now you're the one kind of starting to, yep. I knew it. These kinds of things, oh, you have to have a confrontation here. Oh. What? Mori, what? Oh my gosh. No, that's not... Well, maybe. Wait. 
I just realized he's still in this gap yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> oh, this little kid is just yeah. like. Yeah, you know, lollipops make me feel a little better, so. <laughs> just love how. <laughs> Oh, she's yeah. crying. <laughs> Muddy whispering in your ear. That's <laughs> Right, you're a little bit more reactive, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, we're here! We are here! <laughs> well, of course, they're yeah. they're in a positive way towards you. So, right, exactly. Of course, you think they're. <clears throat> <laughs> what is that? What is that like? The hair covering the yeah, eyes yeah. and everything, yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this is a unique op uh ED, right? Uh this it might be, new, right? I'm not sure. Well, there's no Oh, well, there's no visuals, you know. Right. Like in mm -hmm. the previous ones. That is a that is a good point. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, we're going there. We are. Mm -hmm. We talking we are, about a quick turnaround too. Yeah, we're we are all in. We're going. It's like who knew all you had to do here. to get her to confess her love to you was to make out with her sister, in front of her. Ah, <laughs> uh, this show, this show. I I I. Uh, <clears throat> Like, they're trying to make this all sweet because it's like, ah, oh, he's here for you. And, 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 you know, I can, and it's making it interesting because one, he has been consistent. He has always loved Hina. Like, that's always been his, his thing. Like, yes. Like, he hasn't, mm -hmm. but, but, <laughs> but the way he's kind of, in some ways then used maybe a little bit Rui just it uh. oh what's this oh oh more okay Hmm. 
Okay, well, mm -hmm. this is not going to end well. This is this is really bad. Like, <laughs> like I love how the show, in some ways, is trying to make us buy into the whole sweetness and hmm. adorableness of the Hina, um, Hina Natsuo intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, Hinatsuo? Yeah, yeah, Hinatsuo going to work out. Um, <gasps> situation. Because here, here's the thing. Rui has been this constant source of side eye. Uh -huh. Like she's yep. she's very much aware of what's yep. going on. Mm -hmm. The issue is that on some level, I I I feel like what the story is trying to do uh -huh. is basically give us a a conflict that will be kind of built up slowly uh, mm. regarding Hina and. And Natsuo having their their connection be <clears throat> strengthened by by little little moments of honesty. Yes. But Rui's eventual conflict with this whole thing being built up by moments of miscommunication or by right. dishonesty from Natsuo, meaning that it's not that Ra Natsuo is lying to her; mm -hmm. it's that he's intentionally withholding just enough info. That things just kind of work out right. slightly for them, and which it's is, kind of understandable. Certain bits of info that he is holding back, like the fact but, that you know, oh yeah, right. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. but they, you can only go so far before this becomes extremely manipulative. Like not not like not like manipulative in the intentional Machiavellian uh -huh. side of things. Right. He's but not in so the, too stupid for that. Well, no, 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 no Natsuo is 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 not intelligent, yes, mm -hmm. but he is. Um, it's more that he's kind of a, uh, a. He's not a pushover. That's the thing, is that uh, on some level he. Hmm. I, I I want to say that on some level he is intelligent enough that he perceives things about others. It's more that he's Naive? lacking in self awareness. Oh, okay, and. Hmm. Yet, he is also not completely a pushover, as evidenced by this episode. Right. When he wants something, when he wants someone, he kind of bludgeons his way a bit into making sure that something happens. Now, what's interesting here is I think they framed this whole thing with Hina and that he broke through her barriers to her true feelings, right? Okay. But it was something that was a positive thing for him. So, if it had resulted in any other way where it was... That's those aren't her true feelings. That she really is just kind of lonely and looking for someone. And it was more that she saw Rui, and that being, Rui did have someone. did have someone, and she wasn't jealous because she wants Natsuo. Natsuo, but, but just she's because jealous she because she wants someone. someone. And what that leads towards is something that uh, means that Natsuo is a bit blind to actually what's going on like blind he, i would say is a good way to describe natsuo right so so we have rui the the perceptive one who's mm -hmm. side-eyeing like literally right. everything uh-huh we have yeah, natsuo yeah. who is perceptive on things that he wants but not perceptive on things that don't seem right. to concern because he's, him. he's well he's naive and he believes that this will all end with sunshine and rainbows for everyone Nah, like this is this is going to end in fire and blood. Like this is <laughs> this is going to end in like, like, and this is just with two of the girls. Like, like yeah. let's let's yeah. let's bring in like you know freaking uh, Mew or and oh. uh, Momo and sure. stuff like yeah. into this mix, and suddenly yeah, Momo primarily. I mean, mm -hmm. right. Mew is uh, Mew. Uh, eh. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yep, yeah, they full on did the oh let's have our little moment of intimacy. Let's crack the door. Let's not. We can't. We can't shut the door or anything like well, that. Well, because in Natsuo's defense, he wasn't expecting it. You know, he was just like, "Hey, we need to have a talk." Now, granted, he probably should, still should have shut the door. But they were gonna talk. About, I... <laughs> but yeah, given what they were gonna the talk about, yeah, 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 conversation. Uh -huh. Why would you oh, not I know, shut the door? I know. It's it's <laughs> basically it. it's, it's basically just a meme that yeah. doors like. You know, you you can't you can't have someone not see what's happening. Like, oh my gosh, you know, it just makes I, it spicier. I, I, and I love it. It's so stupid. It just uh -huh. it, it as long as they consistently have this level of stupidity from the uh, 
uh, from the from the intelligence of the characters with mm-hmm. regards to their surroundings, yeah, that's totally fine because it it's it like you said it invites more drama exactly. And the thing is, yeah. the drama is something that drives everything in this story. Oh, so yeah. if you oh, if yeah. you take it out, it, what's right. the point of this whole story? Exactly. So so I can't I can't be mad at the the show for it. I just laugh at it because it's exactly it's extremely yep. ridiculous. Yep. Uh huh. Um, oh yeah. However, here mm. I. I think we've, I think we've gone full harem now, right? Like we are, we're not, we're not, we're not um, pretending anymore. What this, the show is not trying to hide what it is anymore. Like, well, it's 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 no longer just a family drama with complications for the sake of the concept being you know catchy and uh-huh. ooh, taboo. We are actually going full harem here. Every girl likes Natsuo, and they've like, and Natsuo on some level is somewhat aware of it right the only thing i would say is mew that's kind of up in the air because of the whole curia thing and whatnot Mew. The, the thing with mew is that i don't think she's but yeah this is definitely a harem like, yeah she's she's not it's not that she doesn't like natsuo that's that's what it is it's a double negative right exactly it's, it's more like every person we've seen her interact with that is male she's shown she's shown some level of Sure, because the two, the two males that she has interacted with are Kyria and Natsuo. Yes. Yeah. And while it would be interesting to have, like, say, you know, some non-straight characters in, in this story here, uh-huh. this is one of those basic harems, so we can't right. have anyone not I mean, be attracted to the main character. Well, <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe if anything, we could have little instances where Mari is just like, oh, if only you were seven years older. You know, <laughs> right, like, right. Mari is the one with taste, like he's and, and class. He's just like, oh, no, yeah. I, I would never, I would never, yeah. you know, uh-huh. uh, you know, bre- breach that level of trust that we have. That's right. Yeah, not so. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then there's there's Al. We got introduced to Al this episode. God, Al was hilarious. Can we just talk about how they basically said, "Hey, can we have like an extremely rude, blunt, abrupt kind of, kind of, kind of racist, you know, er, you know, American, American transfer student yeah. just yeah. being a dumb American? Like that's genius for comedy purposes because." Yeah. Like, that is one thing. This is another. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were so many things with the English just being added in at the proper uh-huh. times that was hilarious. Yep. But yep. I would say also something that they did which was just kind of kind of cool was they had him be this um, aggressive force to push, I would say, uh, Natsuo a bit mm-hmm. more than usual. Yeah. 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 And mm-hmm. I, I like that. And the panty thief, you know. Yes, that too. <laughs> But I think that was more to build up actually that he's physically capable. Uh, and they said it actually once just outright yeah, this episode. Uh-huh. I was with was a well built dude. A yeah. well built dude. And mm-hmm. what's what's interesting there is that his character is one that's primarily a joke character right at this point. Yes, right? absolutely. But he does have genuine interest in Rui based on just one encounter. And that is probably because he in some ways does have some I don't know fetishization of just the you know, japanese women or something or, like or that or he's a horny teenager or he's a horny you know? teenager and, yeah and yeah. he just saw the first girl you uh-huh, know, exactly oh, i like her yeah <laughs> right so cute <laughs> but i like that it breaks the whole potential harem thing up if we have some future plot point where alex is actually you know he's maybe rude and blunt and you know a bit forward and stuff mm-hmm. but maybe Rui is like you know actually not so I was being kind of a dick I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go just uh see what's all about this uh this Alex guy who knows yeah. who yeah. knows yeah I mean he is named after the the great conqueror so maybe he'll mm. come in and uh provide an actual alexander the great right and he is physically you know you know intimidating in certain ways so maybe he comes in there and just kind of maybe he'll be bigger than not so in other ways oh my i mean i mean there's you're so much bigger than my older brother i mean um i don't I, worry we're not related by blood that line that little encounter that little encounter was so perfect just that they decided, uh, you know what, like, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, say it, just, you know? just say it. Like, yeah, exactly. I think that that's the point of this episode is they're like, let's just have everything be just obvious. Yep, exactly. Let's just, let's just do that. Yeah. Because yeah. the last episode we had, 
<laughs> we had that. And then uh, in this episode, they're just like, oh, yeah, let's crank it up. Let's, yeah. let's break down all the walls and the barriers and stuff. Let's exactly. Make this happen. Break down all the doors. <laughs> the Not doors. that they were shut. They in don't the need to be place. broken down. Yeah, they were. They were, they were wide left open. open. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. almost as if Natsuo maybe gets a little bit of a, a rise from just having people maybe potentially watching. And I think stuff maybe like that. all the characters do because Hina uh, did that too. That's right. And, you know, and Rui, that's right. and Rui was the one who brought it up, Ooh. but she didn't close the door first. So you know, that's and, interesting. <laughs> Hina. My theory is that Hina doesn't really like natsuo okay it's that she's lonely right now because uh she's unable to stand on her own basically. gotcha and it's sort of that like that so like... the identity stuff is real the stuff with rui uh-huh. and that whole thing that's that's yeah, I, re- I really like that conversation i think that conversation was perfect but i think what they might be teasing at here is that it would even inform like if they're trying to go for the thing of all our characterization for the characters is absurd but it's consistent Mm-hmm. It would mean that actually Hina's thing of leaving the door open is because she actually hoped on some level that uh, she would inspire some jealousy from Natsuo because she's that lonely. So, okay. I. That's that's a thought. That, that would be consistent although, in some although ways with that Although they have also done the aspect. airhead thing with Hina a lot, so it's not it's not. But either way, that would still be consistent. Forgotten. Yes, yes, it's it's still consistent. Yep. Yeah, with an yep. airhead thing, it still works well, as right. well. That's, that's the thing about this show, is that like... <laughs> The characters. Yeah, there's not much depth. Well, 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 yeah. well. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, he says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He says. Hold on. Wait. There, there is a decent amount of good depth with the characters, and they try, and they're consistent, and all that stuff. The circumstances and everything that are, happens are absolutely stupid and ridiculous, and the characters are stupid, but they have their own logic to them. You know, they. they... That doesn't mean there's any depth to it. <laughs> oh. Say there, there is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have to look far to see, you know, their logic. It just, it's just like it's either there or it's not. It's like, oh, well, there okay. it is. Well, okay. I'm not okay. There's a difference. There's a the difference one who between... actually has the most depth right now is potentially Rui because she's keeping everything close to the chest right now. And other than that, the only characters that probably have some level of depth in terms of actually what's been shown is Mari because Mari has his whole past. And well, but they've, they've done there. all kinds of stuff like that with with uh, with Hina and Natsuo too. The thing is that it, because it's tied up with the ridiculousness of the plot, I think you're maybe conflating the two. I, possibly, you know. possibly. I, I would say that it, in general, I'm not saying that there's no depth. I'm just saying that depth is a word that you know I would say requires things to be deep. So. <laughs> It's, oh, things it's, get very deep. It's like saying show. it's like saying you know a kiddie pool that's you know six inches deep has depth. I would say that until you get past kind of that three uh, foot range, you know. I, then I love no... it. I love it when when a a show basically gets you in such a tizzy that you basically go into this like mode of like ah yes I must I must break down this show a little bit because I cannot let it actually be seen that I enjoyed it quite a bit. No, I, I do enjoy the the ridiculousness of the the drama and the, the mm-hmm. entertainment value of just having these characters being put into ridiculous situations mm-hmm. and see them react to them and yes. then also make little proactive decisions by that. Like, yeah. I actually find it interesting mm-hmm. for Natsuo's characterization that this is how far he went because of Alex's advice slash input that in some level, I think he wouldn't have done this if not, if not for, for what Alex's, Alex said. Al, what Alex sure. had said. Yeah. So him pushing this far here, him pushing this hard here, not just because of maybe even Alex, but because mm-hmm. Hina saw what was going on and then she decided that she's going to leave. Mm-hmm. That informed a lot of Natsuo's decision making, but it still felt like he pushed beyond what would be a, cons- uh, a, a reasonable, reactive protagonist's level of kind of of, of right. interaction it, it became yeah. something where i thought he was actually crossing a line a little bit he, sure yeah he he held on to her and wouldn't let her go when she mm-hmm. like right know, she, maybe she, she just she doesn't to want to talk him. to you about it like that's that's her prerogative you know? yeah and then yeah. mari literally comes up and just decides oh wait what she's the, i'll just grab her then they've turned it into a comedy thing and i'm like wait 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 mm-hmm. hold on hold on here what right. is the show trying to set up so then they had this whole encounter and then had it all work out to the point where I'm like, okay, we're in full-blown harem territory. So, <clears throat> like, the next episode could be almost, like, like, almost like a Cold War. Like, like, the, like, the, like we're basically at that point where the level of information that both sides have on each other, and uh-huh. I say both sides, I mean Rui and Hina. Uh-huh. Like, 
let's be real here. Yeah. They are the the main kind of battlefronts. <laughs> the the battle two countries lines, at war. Will. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh-huh. exactly. And I'm full Rui, like, right now, by the way. <laughs> that like, that no chromo line was just too strong. It, it killed me. Like, I, I, I just, like... Shot through the heart, and you're to blame, darling. Hina gives love a bad name. <laughs> and maybe it's also I like I like the I like the 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 kind of quiet sundere aspect of her nature, maybe. Or, well, or I would I would say I would say Rui Rui counts as a as a well done, more realistic kudere. And that it's not the thing of like okay. never emoting and never expressing, but just generally keeping very quiet, but having having a lot going on under the yeah, surface. I guess she's not very soon. It's more of a thing of that she's her pout is is the most soon thing about right, exactly. her. Right, exactly. Really. Yeah, yeah. She uh-huh. does not hide her displeasure on her face. Right. That is more of the thing I'd say that's a very realistic aspect of her character is that quiet people in general don't usually have a good mask on their body language sure and that's because they're not usually adept in social situations where a lot of Mm -hmm. people who are adept in social situations are really uh their practice at the very least of wearing a mask on their body language so really being this hina right exactly Mm -hmm. but the thing is that hina is also i would say not as intelligent as rui is just in general so she makes Mm -hmm. mistakes that reveal her true intentions Uh and stuff and that's why i find her at least somewhat interesting is that she is a walking contradiction yes like all the time absolutely which is which is an interesting thing for a character i don't see it as very deep but it's still Mm -hmm. there well i love that whole thing that you said about her potentially uh not even truly liking Natsuo, but it more just being her being lonely. Because if you think yeah. about it, that makes sense given that yep. the the first big relationship of her life yep. was with her previous teacher and he yep. was married. And it's like, you know, and, and she ended up breaking it off because she realized she couldn't really trust yep. him, right? Yep. Um, so, like, the idea of having that sort of just, even if Natsuo is stupid, um, that just adoration kind of like mm-hmm. single-minded just you're amazing kind of thing um right i also think that in some level because hina has uh, this is the part where I'm, I'm trying to put depth into hina mm-hmm. where there might not be any but but i i, I want to see i want to see more con, con, i want to see more of a contest really from hina's side of things so oh. that I, I feel a little bit more divided in my... Uh, of whether Rui or Hina? Yeah, because because what I, I think that they could do with Hina here, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go see if I can go big brain here and try and figure this out, is that Hina's thing is that she um, was scared of the lack of power in the dynamic she had potentially between her and... Uh, what was the guy's name? Shu? Shu. Shu, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, the whole aspect of not being able to trust him mm-hmm. with th- her future. Natsuo has a unique dynamic that she's presented to her now and that he's yes. actually infatuated with her. He's mm-hmm. actually a bit in the lovesick kind of right. uh, phase of where everything for him is just like, you know, he just he just needs her, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And on some level, she can trust that that is something while there's this weird complication things going on between him and Rui... She knows sure. that that's at least genuine enough that he was right. He did these immature little things to force out a confession from her. Uh huh. So she feels maybe a little bit secure in the immediate future, but I don't think she sees it being a necessarily right. long lasting thing. So because even if he's naive, he is at the very least genuine. Right, and this is where Hina could be like really twisted is that she could leverage not only the fact that he is infatuated with her, but also that she maybe has both of them in the, uh, you know, you know, in the, in the way that she's, you know, got the things that they've done. Like she's seen, she's seen that and everything. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll have a lot more subtle and a little bit more, complex way of just using Natsuo for the uh, loneliness needs that she has. Whoa. And that would be some pretty high level that'd be, stuff. That'd be pretty twisted. 
And while I don't think that necessarily any of these characters are twisted evil individuals with right, cause manipulative then, cause thing then there. It, it gets boring. There's no there's well, no true drama because then it's just okay, they're they're a villain essentially that no, needs to be dealt with. No, I, I I I disagree. Oh yeah? Because if you think about the intelligence level of the characters in general, they might not even be aware that they're doing this themselves because everyone is operating based on their but, own like impulses and stuff. But I would say in order for it to be twisted there needs to be some level of like malevolence there right well the malevolence is more just them subconsciously pushing things in specific directions because they're not honest with their own feelings like like an example would be like hina leaving the door open because she subconsciously wanted you know him to bump okay into that thing and be jealous and stuff because didn't didn't he say specifically to everyone that i'm gonna be up late studying um maybe and and this is this is just the level of which hina just isn't aware is that she knew someone was watching right she heard him Uh uh-huh but she didn't confront him after the fact even though she knew on some level that he was already up during that time yeah i I wonder if you're potentially attributing too much like (laughs) big brain to hina yeah probably like probably like, like like that could totally be it but it could also be something where she just like heard something. She's like, "Oh, maybe I imagined it or something like that." You know, I was paranoid or whatever. Maybe it was nothing. That's you know? true. Like that's true. You know, like maybe maybe it was something else, but it wasn't. It wasn't someone <laughs> that was actually watching. It was right. just something else happening in the house somewhere. You know. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think on some level, I I am just wanting more reason to like not necessarily want Hina to be Endgame because I don't think I can. I don't think I can really switch that at this point. I'm oh, yeah? pretty much set on really the okay. end game, but and it's kind of in the beginning of the show too. Like that's that's how the show started. Like so, there's that. But Hina being a uh, a more complicated character, maybe just just mm. I, I would like to see more of that. So I, at the very least, am I'm interested more in her in her future characterization. Gotcha. Um, because this was a pretty, this was pretty, pretty, pretty spicy swift, episode. Swift about face on a lot of things. Yes, like the idea that yeah, like yeah, I still just laugh at the idea that <laughs> basically the day after she catches Natsuo macking out with her sister. Yep. Then it's like I can't hold my feelings back for you anymore. <laughs> it's like yeah, she's really lonely. I, I that's the thing. Uh, I think that that's that's the beginning of it. Maybe all hmm. my other stuff is dumb. But I think that that's the case. She doesn't really like him. Hmm. It's just that she is genuinely jealous of her sister. And it's it's all... That's where the honesty came from, is that it's things focused around the sister and how, on some level, the older sister wants to be like the younger sister. And the younger sister wants to be like the older sister, you know? Mm-hmm. Like... It, uh, yeah, in some ways. Or at least ways, that was yeah. in some ways, you know? like In some ways, which yeah. Which would be crazy, because then you could have it be something where it's not actually about not so right. solving things it's about the sisters needing to just communicate and have a heart-to-heart conversation yeah but that's never gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I, I i i think that we can have some really wholesome family moments and stuff uh-huh. in the future but yeah. the the problem of just their feelings continually bringing things back into the drama mm-hmm. like roping them it's like Every time I try to pull out, they <laughs> try to touch. touch That's the, the worst thing about to... cockroaches. Every time you flush them down the toilet, they always come crawling back up again. I just like said like every time they try to pull out. What I meant to say was <laughs> every time they try to get out, they pull me back in. It's the the the, the mafia gangster right, line right. from uh-huh. what, whatever that is. Is it Godfather? Or no, it's, I can't remember. Uh, I don't. I don't remember. It's, yeah, but... uh, it's probably yeah. Oh boy. Anyway. This yeah. show, this show this is show. pretty ridiculous, and I actually am glad we gave this episode a proper amount of discussion, even though a lot of it was stupid theory crafting. But uh, Alex, <laughs> I I give props to the way they introduced him. Mm. They weren't even trying to be subtle of like, nope. hey, suddenly exchange student. Exactly. And he literally he... just crashes into Natsuo while riding on a bicycle inside. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then they I... stop a panty thief together. It's like right. bonding. There you yeah. go. And I love yeah. Mari also just being like, oh, wonderful, an idiot has come to Japan. And then also the 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 when they target and confront him about him lying about the... Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. 
And it's just like, uh... Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love to be... Ha, ha, you got me. Like, And they're just like, liar. Like, the comedy with, it, with Alex this episode was top tier. It was yeah. really good. So uh, that was a fun twist on the whole... Uh, oh no! Episode. We're gonna have all the spicy <laughs> yeah. drama mm -hmm. as uh, as well. Yeah. So looking forward to the next episode. Like looking forward to the next episode. This is getting this is getting pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, go check out the mm -hmm. link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. Any level support gets you access to our Discord, where you can chat with us about these stories. You can chat with Jacob about domestic girlfriend mm -hmm. in manga either just spoilers. manga or just yeah, yeah, all that stuff. So if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.